Hi, I'm Real Genetic Demon, and this is What's on the Tape, Season 22, Volume 9. Yes, next week is the last in the present series, and it will end, and we'll have we'll have a couple of weeks break, and then I'll be back again. But anyway, let's get on with this one. So this is Dixon's from last week. This is a C90. Last week we had quite a lot of success with it, but this week we're on the proper cracked side. This is the side with the edges smashed off and all the bits and pieces, the cracks running through it. All of these things are going to happen this week. So so hopefully it's going to be 128k games again as well. That was quite cool. So um, without further ado, let's get that into a tape drive. Right, the tape is in the drive, so we'll go down. Well, actually, no, we're not going to go down. I was going to normally go down to Baker's Hick and uh, load it, dip, but we're not. We're going to do a uh, tape loader because last time on the other side of this tape, there was 128k games, so we really wanted to load them in 128k. So we'll go with we'll go with the tape loader this time round, we'll, and we'll see what we get. We'll be, we'll be fine. We'll, we'll, we love it. We'll see. We'll see what we got. What we got? What we got? I love a bit of Spectrum action. It's great, isn't it? Oh, what's that? Kit zero data. We need to do bytes then, don't we? Kit zero data. What's that? What's kit data? This is going to be interesting. Let's break and let's do load code and see what happens. Load. Dit dit. Code. Oh, sorry. Let's do. Let's go down. We'll have to do basic to do that. Uh, 128 k. 128 k. Basic maybe. Load. Speech 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 marks. Code. See what happens. That's the, the beauty of, by the way, the 128k. So when you got to the 128k, you didn't have to use the keys on the keyboard like you used to. So the you could actually type the 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 the, the 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 commands out rather than hoping for the load dit dit and all that. That's why you, you look at the actual um, keyboard itself. It only has one, two, three keys that are marked. Okay. Three keys that are la marked. I don't know what that was. So let's carry on. Let's see what else is on here. That that worked really well. Um, uh, yeah, I've only got three keys that are actually marked. Those three keys are uh, load, code, run, and that's it. All the rest of them not marked. So it's still had that dual function that they used to have. No, we'll ignore that one. We'll ignore kit data, whatever it is. I don't know what that is. I'm hoping there's something else on here. It's not just kit data all the way through. Wonder what it was for. Oh, what did we play yesterday? That or last time, last week that we we had that may use the word kit data. Don't know. Kit data one. Hmm. Not sure what this is. We'll let it. We'll let it. We'll let it run, as they say. We'll see what happens. What was the last game on the tape? I can't remember. Can you remember? You'll remember. You'll know what it was. I can't remember what the last game was on the tape because that would make sense that this is related to that. This side is actually full of data, this side of the tape. It definitely is. And a little, there was a little groaning noise there. Let's see if we get anything here. Anyway, how's your week been? Have you got a beverage as well? I've got my coffee. I've got it in my large um, sherbet fountain, Barrett's sherbet fountain mug. Gigantic thing that it is. Huge thing. Um, this is really going well so far. I don't think it's the kit I'm thinking of, as in kit the the, the, the um, sort of uh, the Knight Rider game. Definitely not that one. Do you, I don't know about you. But I think I prefer the Street Hawk game more than I prefer the Knight Rider game. I think the Street Hawk one came across a lot better, especially with it sort of riding along the streets and then gunning people down with the machine gun attached to the motorcycle. That was always always a good thing, you know, when you when you're hunting down the criminals and murdering them. There's a lot of this Kit Zero here going on. Let's fast forward it a bit, see if we can find something else. This is not going well. Might not be this all over what the other side of the tape. Come on, be something else. Kit three, great. All right, okay, what's this? Kit three, great. There must be something else on here. What can this be? Anybody recognize what kit data could be? That's kit... 
I'm loving this. Unfortunately, I don't know if I'm enough about assembly to tell you what these could be. Not on the spectrum. I don't even know how you get in assembly mode. I think you have to poke a specific location. Let's fast forward. Kit 4. Come on, there must be something else on this tape. I know there is. Better not be all kit. Seven. Great, that's what we like to see. Seven. Fast forwarded it a bit there. Kit nine, maybe. Kit ten. Come on. Eight. Come on. Eight. Right, that was a fast forward. We've still got eight. To be f in, in fairness, we're not very far through the tape. Oh, that was actually a proper load. Hang on. There was something loading properly there. What's this? No, it's kit nine. There's a good load on that one, though. Listen to that. Yeah, it was a good one there. There was a good sort of. There was a good lot of uh, data. Ten, nine again. Wow. Okay. Zero. Honestly, is this tape full of this? Let me just see if we can get fast forward a good way on now. What is this? Oh, there's a space here. If this says kit something or other, I'm going to be mightily disappointed. Kit one. Right. I'm fast forwarding. I'm going to fast forward a good chunk here now. There you go. Just fast forwarding and fast forwarding. What was that one? Just for a quick rewind there. Right, what's this? Don't say kit. Kit 9. Honestly, what's this? What is it? What have I found? Yeah, okay, Kit 9. We've got that. Then we've got cut around to Kit 0 again. Long Lord again. The joys of what's on the tape. Literally, I have no idea what's on it. Uh, okay. I'm going to give it a good fast forward now, even more than we did previously. Thanks for tag tagging along on the adventure. It's always an adventure with what's on the tape. Absolutely rubbish. Come on. Come on, come on. How's your week been, though? Have you been busy? I've been busy. Got home last night, yesterday. I was I, 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 I usually called this on Saturday, so Friday, work day. Um, managed to uh, run into not one, not two, but three different um, accidents. Two on the same motorway in the, and within the stretch of two junctions. Um, both tipple over tr lorries on the sides. And on the way back to avoid those, went by the back roads, which are a bit narrow. They're, they're kind of two car widths in size maximum, but muddy verges on both sides and about 12 to 15 miles of it to go round this junction, which is only basically there. Um, and another trucker decided that it would squeeze down that... Uh, um, I'm just going to break that. I'm going to push it again because that was that was doing something else. Um, so I'd gone down the side of it, managed to touch the verge, obviously sank into the mud because the mud's terrible at the moment because we all know it's been raining forever. Um, is this a longer load here? Ah, there's a boob. When there's a boob, they usually mean something new. That's not what I was helping for. That's a Ray Q, whatever else, character array. It's not what I was expecting. Right, fast forward. Um, yeah, so touched the ver muddy verge and 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 sunk their their poor truck into the into the into the mud. It's not very good. Uh, Ray feels like a lot of data this, but not anything that we can actually do anything with. 
I'm going to fast forward a good chunk on here. And then the third one, um, third accident, unfortunately for where we work and where we are, um, it literally was was one exit away from it, no way to skirt round it. So we ended up waiting for 30 minutes for for, for them to clear the clear the clear the the accident away. Not nobody hurt, but uh, just a, a little bump. Police were there. Um, but it took 30 minutes to clear away so that we could go quarter of a mile and turn into our office to get home. It was a late night. It was a late night. It was a late night. Exciting in the sense of lots of things going on, but nobody lovely. I, I don't know about you, but I like to be moving when it comes to traffic. I find not moving really annoying. Oh, this is really going really badly. Halfway through the tape, almost. And we haven't found a single thing to load. Lots of data. But nothing of interest so far. You know, I, sh I should put some music on now, you know. Do, 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 Something like that. Something topical. What was that again? Can't remember. I can't remember what short song that was, or what that was from. Was that uh, a Dream of Genie or something else? I always wanted, uh, uh, you know, a wife like Elizabeth Montgomery when I grew up. You know, the uh, the, the lady who played uh, um, what was she called, Tabitha? Uh, not Tabitha. Um, what's her name in Bith Witch? Do you know the name of the main character? I always thought it'd be really handy. I don't understood his is 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 a real thing, his real problem. You know, Darren was like, no, no, you mustn't use your magical witchcraft um, to um, help the family or anything like that. No, don't don't do that at all. You know, don't don't run about terrible bad thing. I always thought he was an idiot. Um, why wouldn't you want to use all the lovely witchcraft? Oh, I do want to be the um, CEO of my company. Yes, I would like the latest Porsche. <laughs> yeah, I never really got, never, never, never really got that one. I don't know about you, but I never really got the the whole, the whole, the whole sort of thing there. Wasn't it the same with I Dream of Genie? I think he was pretty much the same, wasn't he? He was like, it was like didn't really want it to use a magic. It was, I was, there was so, you know, the masculinity had been seriously damaged by the possibility that these women were beyond their, 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 you know, without without being, um, you know, girl boss. They were girl boss, but they were they were pleasant, gentle, and feminine at the same time it was it was an amazing thing you know to, to, to have those characters but as i say i never really understood the two of them i suppose they've been a very short tv series by the way if they've both been allowed to use that what the hell are we finding here i think this is questions and answers by the way looking at this q1 you know q15 a15 it looks like the question and answers or something Anybody recognising any of these Lord and things, you just tell me in the, the comments below, because so far we're, we're, we're doing dreadfully, and I may have to go to a backup tape, which could be a bit, bit awful for you all. Could be bad news, but it is my channel, so I might pick something. This is going badly. It's almost like, you remember that episode where I had to start all over again once? Do you remember that one? It was like literally, a t a t a t I'd started the episode and I was getting through it. I'm trying to get through it and it just, just nothing was happening. Everything was going badly wrong. This is this one. This is this episode. All over again. It's not going well, peoples. There's not... Yeah, you know, What the hell is this? Why would you fill the other side of the tape with just this? It actually sounds like it could actually be something now. Here we go. Ah, bite picks. Well, I think we've found something now. No, we found character array again. There's bytes pick. Now I can probably load that actually. Load screen, isn't it? We might be able to load that. Maybe get some clue to, to what we have or haven't been watching. Ah, hang on. There's a space. This could be the pick again though. Ah, 
Ah, cyber! Finally! Something! Finally, we got something. We're literally three quarters of the way through the tape, and we've just finally found something. What's this? Cyber run? Cyber ball? Cyber ball. Cyber ball. Ah, right, okay. Cyber ball. Football. Right, okay. Is this the original Cyber Ball? Football of the 21st Century? Ah, yeah, right. This is a Tengen game, this one. is a re-release of an arcade game of the same name. Um, I actually do have this one on a rather large box. Um, it's quite nice, actually, this rather large box. I'll be honest. It, it's a really nice-looking game. It, it was one that I had for the Mega Drive as well. It, it kind of it, it made it to a few things. Um, you choose your, your plays, and then you play with your robots. So it's basically American football, but with, with robots. And it's not bad. It's not bad at all. Or it wasn't bad anyway back in the day. I don't. I haven't played it probably in, well, 30 years maybe more. Um, so 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 I remember playing it on the Mega Drive. So that was probably into the 90s. So so we're in, we're mm, uh, could be 30 years since I played this, possibly. Oh, unless it's been on what's on the tape before. I'm not sure it has. It may or may not have done. But it's nice that we've actually finally got something from all of that. I'm looking behind me to see if I can see a plastic bag full of games that we can, we can steal. Hang on. I have a plastic bag full of games. I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab a tape out of here. What have I got? Uh, let's see what we've got. Let's grab a tape out for you. Let's grab a tape out of the bag. We'll get. We'll get one out of the bag. What have we got? One towards the bottom, one towards the bottom. Let's take a bottom one. Let's take a bottom one. Because we don't know what's on the bottom ones at all. Let's take a bottom one. I got one. I got one. You can rustle, rustle in the bag. Let's me rustle in the bag. God, it's trouble. Come on, out, out, out. Right, what have we got? Otherwise, this what's on the tape is going to be very short. You don't want a short one before the end of the season. What have we got? Oh, that'll never load. But we'll give it a try. And I don't know idea what that is on the other side. So it's a it's one of the TK TK whatever it is. Book Buggy Blast. Oh Buggy Blast. Buggy Blast and pole position. Ne neither of those will ever load, but we'll give it a try anyway. Buggy Blast and pole position. I don't remember Buggy Blast. We'll have a look anyway. We'll see what happens. We'll see whether, see whether or not we can get Buggy Blast to blue. That was amazingly bu annoying, that particular side of the tape, by the way. I think that somebody had overwritten it with whatever data they had. Um, and then and then we've just been kind of stuck with the, the, the sort of uh, the, the remnants of the whole thing. It's warm in here, by the way. I'm going to take my jacket off. My, my jacket, my, my, my top off. Sorry, I'm going topless now. Well, actually, I'm going to keep the T-shirt on. You got all excited there, weren't you? Because, like, I've got a camera on. <laughs> oh, that's better. That's better. Now I'm topless. It's all good. <laughs> YouTube's always better when you're topless. I've, I've, I've said that before. Yep. Release the moobs. Yep. Release them for your for for your non-viewing pleasure. <laughs> mm. Oh, coffee is really good. I love coffee. Coffee is co coffee is like whoever whoever found coffee. I can, can you, I can't imagine how anybody would have done. You know, you got the, the, the is it beans, isn't it? The beans. Somebody's like, we got the beans. We'll dry these things out. We'll crush them up. We'll make them. We'll make them. We'll make a beverage with it. And they were like, woo! Can you imagine having the first cup of coffee ever invented? That must be amazing. Must have been the most amazing moment ever. You'd be like, you'd be like, whoa, dude, try this, try, try. Oh my God, you know what I mean? Then you discover you could stay up all night. You know, um, whittling a an, a, 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 a joystick or something similar for for for, for, for you know for your for your Stone Age Atari, the the Atari, uh, um, I don't know, uh, one thousand BC. Um, <laughs> That well-known model, model in a human race there, giving it, giving it large with the, uh, with the, with the, with the, 
But when, when they only had one pixel, it was just gigantic. If you're lucky, somebody painted it a different colour. And graphics on it were amazing, you know, the one pixel. <laughs> Look how it runs in this, uh, not car race, because we don't know what cars are yet. Yeah, anyway, so, so yeah, the little Stone Age men, wonderful. It's just loading and loading here. The Atari games. Oh, it's an Atari game. Tengen converted it, but, but Atari sort of must have written it. I've taken. Do you know what I've taken? I've taken. I've taken because because my, my back's been playing up a little bit at the moment. I've taken some paracet. I've taken some uh, ibuprofen today because I can't find any paracetamol. I wish I'd eaten paracetamol because paracetamol is so much better for dealing with the the, the pain. The 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 the, 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 the um, ibuprofen is just not really hitting the spot. It's not doing the same thing that the paracetamol does. Paracetamol just seems to take away all the pain. There's no one the doctors prescribe it. It's like yeah, take two paracetamol. It's the one, isn't it? It's like the it's the plumber who went to the doctors, wasn't it? You remember that the you know the, you know the joke, don't you? The plumber goes to the doctors. Doctor says, uh, "He says, doctor, I've got a I've, you know I've got a sore headache and pain, aches and pains." The doctor says, "Yeah, just take two paracetamol anyway." A couple of days later, the doctor doctor has to phone for an emergency plumber, you know, and uh, plumber phone he phones him back and says, "Yeah, just throw two paracetamol down it, and I'll I'll call you in the morning." And um, so so yeah, it's the. <laughs> Sure, that's not true. That the paracetamol will work on blockages. Not, not very good. Nobody likes a blockage in their lavatory. Right, we're loading the main still. I think. Well, it's nice to at least get one game up on the on the screen. Hopefully, not got much tape left at all. You, I, you won't believe how little in the way of tape we've actually got. We've got like three seconds worth it's just ridiculous well I'll say three seconds we've got enough probably to load this game and that's about what I do just 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 a complete and utter failure of a, of a tape I'm I've got that as a, an aside and I've got some other things that I've got knocking around beside me if we, we need to I might just play one of the play play some of the games that are hanging around here you might just get lucky with some some of these as well there might be some we not see in a long while Still need to do that score table or take league table of games. Oh, love it. Love a bit of coffee. This seems like a very long load, by the way. I guess it's probably the 128k version. I think there was a 128k version. The funny thing is, I can see it from the other side of the room. I can see the, the whole thing. It's got clacks in it. This is the, there's a Tengen collection of, that you got with this. I've got the original one as well, which is one of those lovely sort of double dual cardboard box jobs. I know that's not really a dual case, but you know what I mean. The cardboard box is kind of double the thickness of a dual one and whatever else is. I was I rather liked those when those turned up. I don't know about you, but but I I found them there was something satisfying about owning them because they're kind of kind of chunky and big, aren't they? They you feel like you're getting your money's worth. I I had lords of chaos like that, and I was like I was like. That is the business, Lords of Chaos like that. I've still got Lords of Chaos like that, to be honest. That and uh, Laser Squad. Laser Squad came in one of those chunky boxes. Oh, I was so impressed by that. Mine was spotless, though. This is the worst part about, um, you know, being a kid and then not keeping your collection, you know, and, and you know, being sold by family members or, you know, with, without, you, you know, without you really caring. You're like, yeah, yeah, I've got, a, I've got a PlayStation 1 now. Don't need those Spectrum. Who needs a Spectrum called PlayStation? Look at all the polygons. You know, you, that's the kind of the arrogancy that came with it. You know, instead of instead of realizing that in you know twenty more years or ten more years you were going to be like, I wish I was playing on my Spectrum still. I, and the nostalgia that goes with it, that's attached to it. That it's, 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 it's seriously addictive nostalgia. I I I think, do think that nostalgia is one of our was one of those kind of really addictive things. I think the older you get, the more nostalgic you get, and the more you kind of you, you know you feel that 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 that. It's 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 highly addictive, you know. It's that I mean, people know it as well. I mean, they show you things from the, from the past that you used to see, and you get it's like, wow, I remember having one of those. It's like BBC doing an article. Uh, I don't know if it was today or yesterday, but they did an article about uh, the rise and fall of um, of Little Chef. To be fair, it didn't actually fall. It ended up being bought by KFC, who flogged off more to other places to uh, to to Eurocars. I'm sorry to, to break the 
the lose for you. That that's basically what happened. But that's what happened to Wimpy for most of the country as well. You know, Wimpy, classic sort of um, American diner experience, but not the fast food experience of McDonald's or uh, or Burger King. No, the the more the sit down and enjoy your meal kind of you know thing. But it was that burger esque type thing. There there are few of them left in the country. It still exists. It was. Uh, but bar the important thing was that or the thing that happened there was they got offered a better offer for the franchise so the people who owned those buildings already were offered a better deal with Burger King and most wimpies turned into Burger King they're the, they're, that's that's what happened it, it literally was there was a better offer on the table so they became Burger King and and I guess it is what happens with with things in life they do ultimately you know somebody somebody gets a financially a better offer and sometimes they they sell out to that to that to that whole thing it, it just it, it i guess it happens but there's a nostalgia there isn't there um i mean i i, I genuinely uh, I, you know remember the wimpy with very fond memories um i would I, I i would love to go to one but the one that's closest to me and i feel like i may be shanked um, by 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 the locals if I go there, especially as it's uh, over the border in uh, in that uh, in the uh, Bonnie Scotland because we don't want to say anything else because otherwise you'll end up on a police list um, before for for because of the current uh, uh, changes in laws on free speech. There's no free speech in Scotland anymore. You just got to get straight to the point. No more uh, no more having a discussion about anything or a laugh. You know, you can't, not allowed to do that. It's not allowed. I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to seeing how many comics actually turn up at the Edinburgh Fringe this year when they can't, can't make um, any kind of, uh, of joke because it'll be seen as technically hate speech. Yeah, so they're, they're, it's a weird, weird old country. God knows how that law passed. I think, I think, I think it was a bit of a mistake there for whoever did that. But never mind. Right, uh, one for keyboard. Oh, good. Up, down, left, right, fire. Cool. Right, who do I want to be? I can choose to be somebody. I'm going to be... I'm going to be the New York Enforcers. And that's my opponent. Right, here we go. Kick off to receive. So I'm receiving, I believe. Oh, am I the team at the top? Or am I receiving? I'm, I'm receiving. So I receive... That's my guy there, and then I have to motor forward as far as I can, especially American football. God, it's so slow! I played the Mega Drive version, they're going to clap at me here. That's it. Right, okay, um, I'm going to do a running play. And I've got to choose one of these. I'm going to do uh, the one above. Can I do the one above? That one. Sweet, sweet one. So basically, I've got to throw the ball to my quarterback. And then my quarterback has to run back until my player reaches the certain point. And then I have to throw the ball. Incomplete pass, yes. Let's do a running play. Pass it. No, I've done passing play again. Uh, uh, I can't move. Ah, I'll do Broadway. That's the thing. See where the little X's are on the screen? That's where I've got to throw the ball to. There's the ball. And then I have to run before the robot gets me. And I should have done it. Was that all right? I'll do a passing play again. I'll do... Oh, that's right. Uh, I'll do that one. Airmail. So I've got to wait for one of my players to make it to one of those. That's what I've got to survive. I've got to make 10 yards because it's that's how uh, American football works. And... I'm going to throw it to the man in the middle there. Come on, land on him. Interception. Got to stop him. Wherever the ball is. That's it, it's lost. I've got to do a short defence. Uh, I'll do... That one. I don't think this has ever appeared on what's on the tape. I don't, really don't. Right. Here we go. Oh, we need to make our way through them all. I gotta go get him. There we go, taking him down. Ball diffused. Uh, medium. Uh, I'll do rotate left. 
Let's hope that was right. All right, I'm coming through. There's his quarterback. Go on, go on, my guys. Go, go, go. He's going to score a touchdown. Touchdown. There is a bit of music, actually. I hadn't realised. Short. Standard run. Yeah. Basically, you just choose plays and then you play them. It is extremely slow. It was a lot better on the Mega Drive, which it should be, because that was a 16-bit machine. I don't know whether it appeared on the um, Amiga or the uh, the Atari ST. It probably did. Um, this is the same people. Tension also released um, uh, uh, Escape from the Planet of the Robot Monsters as well, which was a classic game if, you, if you've if you not played it. I do, do recommend that one. It is better, by the way, I think, on the Amiga and, and Atari ST than it is on the uh, the arcade version there's another touchdown ball exploded uh prepare for kick off all right i think me it's me again to run with this yeah cuz they they're winning oh, i'm down Running play. Uh, easy rider. Right. Where the hell's the ball? No idea. Totally lost it there. Passing play. Uh, let's do the double X. I'm literally in the end zone here, which is not good. I've run into the safety. I'm kicking off. Right. And then we have to go stop them. At their side. Come on, guys. Stop, stop, stop. Oh, it's, they stopped him right in that end. First period over. It was very unexciting after all of that. Let's see what else is on the tape. I don't know if there will be anything, but we'll give it a try. There's not much tape left. Well, there is. What is it? Greyhounds. Somebody loves greyhounds and gambling. There's some space for some get greyhounds. Love a bit of gambling. Don't think it's gonna fit though. And if it does, I'll be amazed. There's so little space left. I can't believe we went all the way through this tape just to get nothing. I don't think I fast forwarded past any of the loading bits, by the way. I do think that that whatever that was, that was a something. Because we started at the beginning of the tape, there was nothing there. That screen by Sean. Wembley Greyhounds by DNH Games. Look at that rabbit. It's got a pole stuck through it because, of course, it is an electronic one that, that gets the. Uh, is it true that if a greyhound catches the rabbit for eventually, that it never races again? It just doesn't care. Do you think dogs are like that? I don't think dogs are. I don't, especially greyhounds. I think, you know, my dog, when it catches its its fluffy toy rabbit thing, it doesn't stop not chasing it next time I throw it. Does your dog? I, I don't believe that. It can't be if they actually catch it that that's it, that they're done as race. I mean, do you think that they go, oh, no, I'm going, going racing. Hang on a minute. I won't chase the rabbity thing that I've been chasing all this time that I really quite enjoy chasing because I can really go fast. No, I don't believe it. I can't believe that that's the case. That can't be it. I really can't be, can it? Is that a thing? Don't know if stuff but nothing about greyhound racing. Of course, it's the Grand National this weekend. Um, it's going to be um, dogged by protest as usual. 
Uh, do you know something? It's really weird, though, isn't it? I think horse racing is quite draconian. I'm sure that dog hound, greyhound racing is very similarly draconian in its, its thing. And I, I mean this in a, uh, I mean this in a sort of a weird, uh, strange sort of way. I, I mean, I, what I know of horse racing is that if your horse is doing badly, they take weight off it. If your horse is doing well, they put weight onto it to try and level the playing field. No, they all race the same. Thus, it's like it's like saying to an athlete, if you're a very good runner. Um, you can't. You here's here's some extra weight because you can't run, which seems like a really uh, a waste of time. You know, it kind of defeats the object of the exercise. You're literally weighing the horse down to make it run worse. You don't do it with human athletes. I'm sure there's people who gamble on uh, 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 athletics and, uh, and 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 the the Olympics or whatever else it is. I mean, nobody's gonna nobody's gonna stop. Uh, what was he called? Um, not was not not. I'm gonna say Daley Thompson. It wasn't Daley Thompson. It was uh, what was the name of that? Linford Christie. You know, I mean, I, I, I mean, you, you wouldn't see him with some t- weights tied behind the back of him because because he's running fast. I think that's I think that's totally unrealistic. But you do it with horses, which is, makes it really weird in my head. So so it sounds like quite a cruel sport, realistically. You know, if you're not doing very, if you're doing badly, you get rewarded with less weight. But if you're doing really well, you get rewarded with more weight to slow you down. And they all kinds of horrible things, don't they? They used to whip the horses a lot and stuff like that. So so I don't know. I'm I'm yeah I'm. I'm I'm on the fence here, you know, it's one of those things. I've never really been into horse racing, though. I'm not, to be fair, I'm not particularly good with gambling anyway. I don't, in the sense that I don't really understand gambling. Um, I just like to win. So so, so gambling for me is, is, is well, what's, which one's the winner? When somebody asked me whether I want to do a sweepstake at work on the uh, on the, on the the horses for, 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 uh, for, for, the, for, for the Grand National, I said, I'll take the winner, thanks very much. <laughs> I only want the winner, don't give me the rest of them, I'm not interested in them. So yeah, I'm yeah. Yeah, I'm just drinking my coffee and thinking there. My little brain running through various bits and pieces. Please, please load. Oh, it has loaded. My God, that. And there's a little bit of load there as well. How many players? One. Enter my name. The usual. Demon. I've entered my name. Does it not like my name? It's thinking. It's thinking mode. Please wait. Please wait. It's now calculating up the uh, the Wembley um, Wembley Greyhound Society. Society run by Greyhounds of Wembley. Not to be confused with the Wombles of Wimbledon. And they're common, are we? The Wombles of Wimbledon. Come and are we? No? Do you know something? They had an opportunity to do so many better Wombles games than the one that they actually gave us. It was alright. It wasn't brilliant. But, but we got... We did get a Wombles game. Let's be honest. We did get a Wombles game. We got we got a Wombles game. We got a super... We got a, we got an Ed the Duck game. My God, those days when uh, Philip Schofield was in the cupboard. Quite literally. <laughs> Before it came out, <laughs> it was Andy Peters, wasn't it? As well, he had he had he had a bit of Ed. He, had, he he touched Ed as well. Yeah, both of them did. Andy Peters and things. Andy Peters though went on to be a produ- producer, didn't he? That's his, that's the big thing for Andy Peters. And is he now? Is he back on telly at the moment? Is he back on like sitting on the sofa for somewhere for something? I think he is. I may be wrong. But he went on to be a producer. He produced a lot of things, so you know, made the bigger money from the from the p- production. By the way, this is not this is not not doing something. This is actually busily um, calculating some calculations on the speckydrum, on the speckydrum. It's calculating it's calculating how many how many greyhound how many legs greyhounds have, um, and uh, if they've got legs, how many paws do they have to go with the legs. Um, and also, uh, um, how many how many um, um, rabbits are involved in each race? That's what's currently calculating the, the important factors of the uh, the spectrum uh, loading process or the or the or the or the thing. I pushed the oh, that's there. I got bored. Uh, um, hater, it's called hater. I've got time to choose stuff. Look, there's time countdown. So uh, D Lord, Echo Lad, Red Sun, Lady Bow. Fire top. Right, okay. Bookies. B. I'm gonna go to the bookies. Go to the bookies. I don't know how to gamble. I don't know how to gamble. What am I gambling on? Oh the bit different odds on different different bookies. 
six to one. So I be if I if I put it on Hater Pete Lace Bear Witch Bucky, I'm gonna put it with uh, D Jones, he sounds a very uh, reasonable fella. What am I about betting on? I'm gonna bet on how much money have I got? Straight FC's win only. I'm gonna go with win only. Beat the bet. Which bets? Oh no, hang on. Did I bet on the wrong player there? Anyway, the win only. What the heck? Is all of this? I just want to do one hater. How much do I want to bet? I want to bet big maximum of fifty quid. Get on there. Get on there. My best bet. Just gonna oh, seven to two now. Don't know what that means. So for every two I put on, they get seven back. Is that right? I think it's like that or something like that. Okay, menu, menu. I want to see the race now. Oh, the Redson's now five to one. Right, okay, I don't care. Art race. I want to see. I want to see doggies racing. Uh, Hater is number one. Uh, are they run? Are they actually running? The, the bets are going up and down. Hang on, what's going on? The greyhounds are running. Okay. The okay, here comes the rabbit. I've got all my money on here to... There's the rabbit running along across the bottom. Come on, rab. Oh, look, they're moving the positions. The numbers are moving. The mo numbers are moving about. That's how we know what's going on. Come on, hater. It's my own fault. I'm, 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 now, in, I'm now in third. Oh, the, the rabbit's crossed the line. Who's crossing with it? Number four's going to cross the line. Red Sun is going to be the one. I've been swindled out of all my money. It was a dead cert, was my dog, and then it's just not gone from there. It's gone way down. Dead cert. I know, I know, know, or crazy, uh, crazy Jones, um, a, a a vast sum of money. He's coming after me. It was a photo finish, photo finish, and mine came fifth. After all that, you are kidding. And DNH lost 35. Wow. I lost money on that. Lady Bow. I don't know how much money I've got, but I've just, I'm just, I'm not, not happy about that. So it's a gambling simulator. It's a dog, dog gambling simulator. Yeah. We've got to wait for them to calculate the results of the other races. Well, we're not going to do that because we're going to move on and see what else there is. Because you've been sat here long enough. You've been good boys. Good boys and girls. Very good boys and girls. I think I heard a bit of specky noise here, though. Let's go for it. If this loads something, I'll be only amazed because there's literally no space left here. Genie. Oh my god, what are you trying to load? What the heck? There's no space on here for anything else to load. None at all. It's not possible. This is why I utterly love what's on the tape. You never know what you're going to find. No idea whether or not somebody's managed to squeeze one last game. Into the most minuscule amount of space. The teeniest, teeniest fraction of the tape. I knew that there was data all the way across this one. I didn't realise to such a level that this was here. That is unreal. If this loads the loading screen, then, and this works, I'll be utterly amazed. Oh, you can't be kidding. Genie Romtech. Wow. It 
What is this? It's loaded? What's Genie? Oh wow, this is the multi this is the multi this is the thing to road it. This is the multi this is the multi um face installer set setting up for basically putting sorting out you know, copying games. Oh my god, there was no space for that on there. That is unreal. Somebody multi faced the multi face program. Really amazing. Right. That's actually that tape done. So let's try some other things up this one. I am we, I'm gonna be quite amazed if pole position loads. It tends to not to because it's it is what they call a a speed loader a sort of a, 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 a context unless unless somebody's done something clever with it this is going to be a pretty unlikely um a, a, a installation and even from the uh, from the can you hear that so this hasn't got specky noises on it let's put this into my tape deck i don't know i don't know who the tunes by well, it doesn't sound to me any. That doesn't sound. That doesn't seem like it's going to be pole position. This sounds like um, ghosts in the past. Let's get the tape deck on this. Let's get the tape deck on this. So let's get. Let's 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 hear this in all its glory. Band. That's quite. That's quite nice. I quite like that. It's quite pleasant, actually. I quite like pleasant. I didn't expect that. I just picked it up off the aisle. Quite poppy, but it was all right, pleasant enough. I don't recognize the band, though. Does anybody recognize the band? Recognize the band? Well, it's not so bad. Did we get a little bit of. Hang on. Oh, we got radio. Bit of a recording here. Are you ready? It's coming. Good climb for Suzanne Vega in this morning's top 40. She was in at 33 last week with Luca, and it goes up 10 places to number 23 this morning. 819, those old O levels are uh, going on at the moment, and other sorts of exams as well. Lee Manor High School in Luton. Good morning to all the fifth years there. Wow. That was not what I was expecting on there. Suzanne Vega, was it? And Luca. Not one that I know. Not one. Not, not somebody. I don't remember that. I think that's what it was. Suzanne Vega. And something in Luton. Somebody in Luton. Well, I don't think we're going to get pole position out of this, but we got we got we got some ghosts from the past, and we love those. Those are one of our favourite things. I love ghosts from the past. I, I, I it, it's one of those when you get when you get them and they pop up on these things. We we, we it's kind of cool that we've got them. You know that they're, they're, they're there, a part of our sort of you know that that that's pre now preserved a little bit. For, well, hopefully for life, if as long as uh, as long as uh, YouTube doesn't disappear to overnight. That's that's now. That's now that's now preserved with it. I have done some recordings on previous videos, and they're all still available to download if you find them. Um, there's some of the videos, can't remember which they are. I actually did the recording of, I, you know, I, I copied the entire um, tape sort of contents in the sense of the uh, uh, the what's what's what what's on it, you know, the, the 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 sounds and the music and all this kind of stuff. I copied all them over onto uh, onto 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 uh, uh, with, with all these tape cassette conversion things. Bad sign here. Ah, there we go. There we go. Thankfully, something else on this one. 
two games possibly on this, or three games this week. Not very exciting with the game genie there, which is kind of new, new. I think this is a game that was released on the Silverbird range. Uh, the pink and black um, um, ones. It, I've seen, I think I've played the um, Amstrad version. This, I don't think I've played the, the Spectrum version. And if this is, a, is what it is, I think it is. It's also a first appearance for it. I'm pretty sure now that we haven't played Cyber Run before. That's a first appearance. And I think this is the first appearance for, 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 for Buggy Blast on the whole thing. It's very good. It's nice. That's what I love about this. I love doing this. Great fun. Digging through things. And, you know, sort of seeing what, what's there and what we can save and what we can't save and all this kind of stuff. It's great. Yeah, Buggy Blast. This has not, this has definitely not appeared before. I'm looking behind me to see if I can see it on the shelf. I can't, but I've definitely got it. I think, is this one of the odd ones? Is this one of these odd ones? It came in an odd cover as well, I think. Yeah, I'm definitely convinced this one came in an odd sort of covering of some sort. Look at that! It looks like it. Looks like it's got a. It's got a little bit of. It's got a little, a little bit of uh, Lotus Esprit in the front of there, combined with wings and, and boosters, because of course that's what you need with every uh, speedy buggy of some sort. I'm quite amazed this has turned up. This is a new one. This is definitely new. Not played this one before. Uh, it, the, the beauty of the Spectrum, though, is the Spectrum itself, as, as you, as many of you may know. Had because of the homebrew market and people selling mail order uh, uh, back in the day, the, there there is literally, you know, at this moment in time, I think the number stands at about seventeen and a half thousand games that were written for the Spectrum. That's quite amazing, really, and that doesn't probably doesn't include all of the typings that are out there and all the other bits and pieces. And for a run of about ten years, which you can kind of put on pin on the uh, on the on the on the PlayStation Two, that had a ten run of about ten years. Um, that has four thousand games. Yes, I know the development time's a lot higher, harder on that, but this is a lot of games for that length of time. It really is. I mean, they do. And, and what what would you say the average development time of Spectrum game was? Six to eight weeks, maybe less. Depending on the game and the 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 quality of it, yeah, I I, I I honestly it was it was a it was this was a really interesting time. You could, there was lots of variety and there was the costs were so low. It was the experimental was a thing. It really was. Um, we're, we're drifting back towards my subject of indie games again. We we, we are we're so we're so circling around it like a vulture over a, over the over the carcass of a of a of a of a triple A um, executive, you know, just vulturing over the top, waiting waiting for his last breath, last to, to mop his brow with his last um, you know hundred dollar note about bill, you know, before we eat him. <laughs> so the socialist vulture. <laughs> Eat the capitalist, eat the rich. Um, yeah, that's that's what I'm just, yeah, yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it, it is. Oh, there were so many indies and so much opportunity, and that still is there in the PC work market. It's not so much on the console market. However, if you're reading recently, or I've been keeping up with the latest news in console market, it seems that very soon we're going to struggle. You're going to struggle with the with the Xbox market because uh, it seems that uh, um, developers are. Not happy about the fact that they have to develop for the lowest common denominator, which of course is the Xbox Series, uh, the Xbox S, not the Series S, which is the very original one that Microsoft did to to, to cut the costs, you know, with no drive, back in the the, the, the you know back in all, almost almost ooh, twelve years ago now. Um, so so you're talking about a machine that, that that basically is almost 12 years ago that you have to develop for. The developers and the writers of uh, PC uh, of games are going, well, why should I bother putting it on that? I might as well just put it on the PlayStation um, 5 because at least they upgrade the hard drive, the hardware and everybody has to get a better hardware to do it to get to get those games. You have to have a 5 to do certain games. Um, so uh, Nintendo plays its own tune. Everybody knows that, so you don't have to develop anything other than something specific for the um, the, the, the extremely large Switch community. And when it comes to PC, you can develop what you like. So, so you know, you know, most most game, you know, you can be you can be quite harsh with the, the specifications of your, of, your, of your game. It is quite an amazing scenario that we're actually in. That the fact that you know Xbox, Microsoft's got this lovely Game Pass. I think I think Xbox is on a decline with them. I think they're 
they're struggling a little bit. And that's really annoying that that didn't load after all of that. So let's try it. Let's see if we can find it on PlayStation X. Because I want to play that now. That definitely looks like a game I want to play. So, so um, yeah, I, 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 I don't know. I think I don't think they're, 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 they're thinking about this. They, they really need to rejig the, the Xbox completely and try not to, to, to sort of run everything for everybody off the older models. Yes, it keeps your, mar it keeps your, your, uh, your, your, your market there. I mean, to be fair, you could probably rejig it completely and call it something different. I mean, so good old Steam's doing quite well with the idea of the Steam Deck. That 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 is a machine that you 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 know you can you can run anything you like on realistically. And I, I've got to admit that that seems like a much more a much better idea with the whole thing than 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 the way it's currently run. Where the hell's it gone? Um, try to find it. Try to find it. Let me type it in here. Play ZX. There we go. Couldn't find it for looking at it. Right, uh, buggy, buggy blast, isn't it? Buggy, buggy, buggy blast. There we go. That's it. We've got it. They're all the same. Right. Uh, load. Di di right. Press the play button. Push that button. Done. Play. Let's go for it. I think it cut a bit off the end there, so uh, yeah. It, it, I don't know. Well, game gaming is gaming is a, a wonderful thing. Gaming can bring communities together, people together, uh, people who don't normally play games together. Them together. It's it's a wonderful thing. It, it it always has been. It used to get you you and your mates around the around a sofa, or around a console, around a around a, a you know a, a Sega Mega Drive or a, or a or a PlayStation One with a with a with a multi tap or or anything. It really was. It was a wonderful. It's a wonderful um, sort of experience. I know there's a toxicity that some comes from multiplayer type things, and I think that that comes a little bit from the uh, the, the 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 fact that people can can uh, uh, more remote than they used to be. It didn't exactly happen when you were having knockabout with a game of Street Fighter Two with your friends on the sofa while you were playing on the on the Super Nintendo. It didn't, you know, there was obviously a bit of rivalry there, but but and then and sometimes a good or a bad loser. You know how it went, but but to be fair, you 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 played together and you had fun. You know, there would um, we we did sometimes play at the end of the day in my we, my workplace. We sometimes play Street Fighter Two on a little arcade joystick setup that we've got. We play it and a little there's a little bit of in house sort of rivalry and and we all we all have a good time it's quite nice you know it's a little bit of a relax at the end of the day at the end of the week just have a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of little bit of fun see 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 you know see, see who's better it's by the way it's me i'm the best <laughs> i'm not the best i'm really not uh, but but the point is that, that that it's a bit of fun and and that's what what gaming's all about isn't it? it's about having enjoying yourself um, and I know people get rich and paid for it by this kind of thing. I, I have to wonder, though, whether or not the CEOs of these companies, you know, these big companies, actually go home and go, right, I'm going to play my, my the latest game we've programmed. I, I would like to think that they have that, that love and that passion that they would, but I don't think they do. And that, 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 that that's kind of sad, isn't it? I don't think that once you've lost that passion, you don't, you're no longer, you know, it's no longer... It's about it's about it's about the dollar signs or the pound signs. It's not about the uh, the the love of the love of the game, you know. I, I, and it, there is a a lot to be said for the love of the game. I love playing games. I think it's brilliant. I think it's a wonderful thing. Uh, and my, I talk about games with my daughter and my son and my wife, and I talk about games with people I know and friends and people I play online with. I play a lot. You know, I've got there's lots of things and good things that are out there. That are really good, so that so 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 that you know that you enjoy it together. I mean, recently, I mean, talking of indie games, although published by um, Sony, uh, being a big publisher, uh, the the indie game that seems to have um, stormed the uh, the PC the PC gaming charts and the PlayStation Five charts, and not the Xbox users, unfortunately, is uh, is is this Hell Divers Two? And I used to play the original Hell Divers. I remember it. My wife, uh, my wife, my daughter would play through many a war on it. I, I loved the idea of sort of being troops and coming and collecting things and doing bits and pieces. And it was procedurally generated, which is um, what the new one is, and it does the same thing. And it's great fun. My daughter and I love playing the game together we've been enjoying the whole process of you know winning losing and dying and that 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 is 
brilliantly done with a with a game that's guided by a human games master not a computer making up its own rules somebody actually actively trying to improve the whole thing a company that hasn't been selling microtransactions everything can be gained in game by enjoying the whole thing you can gain all of the necessary what's called super credits to, to basically buy what's called the premium content which is called war bonds which is quite inexpensive but you can basically do it all in game without actually ever having to spend a single penny beyond the original purchase of the game that is the right way to do it that's the right way everything costs next to nothing you can gain all of the items with doing next to nothing there are some cosmetics there are some bits and pieces but nothing costs tons and tons and tons of real world money and nothing needs to Plus, because the developers are small and agile and they are very, very, very um, passionate about their project, they're doing a great job of, after two months of it being out, maintain the community to the point where it's still maintaining 350,000 plus u users on average online playing it. That's a lot. That's a lot of players. Yeah, I'm giving that one. That one gets that one gets kudos from me. I wasn't expecting it to. I waited a month. I've only been playing it for about a week and a half, um, and um, it is in my mind every waking moment. I can't get wait to go back and play it again. That doesn't happen very often with very many games. You know, that really doesn't happen very often with very many games. This doesn't even look like what I think it was going to be. That looks awesome. Boogie Blast looks brill. Gersky's, yes or no? No, of course not. Prepare for launch. What am I what am I launching for? A standard key selected. I don't know what standard keys are. Oh, it's launching me. Whoa. I'm in space. Closing sector. Locating sector. Oh, wow. What's going on? I'm landing. I'm landing, I'm landing, I'm landing. I'm on a planet. Photon lasers on. Oh, wow! What are my keys? That's up. What's down? That's left and right. That's oh, I've got, I'm shooting basically. My lasers have been moving up and down. Uh, is that down? What's down? I don't know what. How to fire? Oh, I found the fire. So it's like a shooting game. I've got to be able to move this down though. How do I move that down? So I'm driving down this road. I've got one. Can power convert a damage? Yeah, I'll probably be alright if I could push this button down. If I can move that bloody laser down. Ah, I found it. Yes, got one. Got one. It's like R two D two, but gone mad there. That was, that's a magic night, by the way. That was the magic night in the doorway. This is cool. I quite like it. Buggy run. I like it. It's kind of. It wasn't what I was expecting. Oh, there we go. Argon converter destroyed. Flying into space. Is it? Argon converter converted. Is that me dead? Oh, I think I might be dead here. Mission failure. Final analysis. Cyber credits. Or psycho, psycho credits. Zero. Activating skill. I didn't want cursor keys, thank goodness. Prepare for launch. Sector 1. 
I'm preparing for launch in Sector 1. So it looks like I'm like crowd control for the alien nations. You know, they've all they're all down the uh, the uh, alien uh, brothels. Uh, <laughs> they're enjoying themselves far too much. Canopy open. Canopy closed. What a lot of effort. It's really nice. Photon lasers on. Oh, I got it. There we go. There's alien getting shot in the face. I've got to kill those. I don't know how many how many creatures I've got to do though. I've got to kill. I've got to kill. <sighs> Killing the creatures here. It's good actually. I quite like it. Not very much accuracy with the guns, but but you can kind of anything that's in between those ra rays works. Okay, got to shoot some more. Oh, I'm dead. Argon converter destroyed again. That's all right, actually. That's not too bad at all. I quite like that one. That was quite. That was a, that was a pleasant surprise there, as they call it. That's a really really pleasant surprise. I wonder if there's anything else on the tape. It's got a little bit more things. Should we, should we have a quick listen before we, we before we end there? If that makes sense, let's just do a quick listen. See if there's anything else. That's pretty cool, actually. I quite like that one. Let's push, push the tape and see if there's anything else. Well, we've had an in, uh, 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 what I would call a, a, an exciting tape, actually. Well, next week, though, importantly, is the uh, Last in the Present series. Um, but but also importantly, if you go back to Volume One, you can make a choice um, of what uh, what 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 I what, what I play this 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 the end of the month or the end of this week. I should say next week. One or two choices: Arcadia or uh, Hollywood. Hollywood containing sort of Hollywood movies, and Arcadia containing. Just some random stuffs. <laughs> Arcade games. No, there's nothing more on that tape. That was really cool. I enjoyed that a lot. That was really, really fun. Anyway, I've been your host, Real Genetic Demon. Thank you for watching. Please feel free to like and subscribe, and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye now.